Never forget these high yield thoracic scars for your medical exams. This is the axillary thoracotomy scar. Axillary meaning armpit. We tend to use axillary thoracotomies for chest strains, especially in the treatment of a pneumothorax. So think of blowing air under your armpit to remember that one. The next two are the anterolateral and posterolateral thoracotomy scars. For anterolateral, think of acute emergencies and the aorta. It tends to be used in unstable patients like in trauma, and it gives good exposure to the heart, to the aorta, and the left lung. Whereas the posterolateral thoracotomy tends to be for non-cardiac surgery, such as elective lung surgeries. It's bigger and more time consuming to perform, but it does give great exposure to the lungs. So generally speaking, think of the posterolateral scar as being for planned surgery. Number four, we move to a high yield one, the second intercostal space midclavicular line. Now your mind should already be going to needle decompression. And the next one to know is the clamshell thoracotomy. This is where the rib cage is opened up like a clam. It tends to be used in transplant surgery, severe trauma, and obviously as a lab resort. You'll remember it for way longer if you test your active recall right now. In the comments below, I want you to tell me the name of this surgical scar right here. I've got more memory hacks for you, but you're going to have to follow me to come and see them next.